Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus, and today I've got Captain Sicarius, but I'm going to be doing him in the Souls of Brathner chapter. As you can see, it's another one of these Conquest uh, magazine uh, ones with the horrible blue plastic that the primer doesn't really want to stick to, but it's um, Vallejo White Primer and then Wild Rider Red as standard with all the Souls of Brathner. And then um, this guy also has like a tabard or whatever, a, a, a loincloth, whatever you want to call it. I put some of that liquid mask down the middle to give a, a continuation of the white stripe that's going to go down his his uh, chest piece. And that's me just taking it off very gently because, as I say, that that primer does not want to stick to that blue plastic. It, it's fine for grey plastic. No idea what's, what's different about that blue plastic. But anyway, um, as with all the soles, or at least the majority of them, they have the white stripe running down the center line of their torso. So that's me just uh, putting it on there. Nice and thin lines just to establish and then going over. The main color of the armor of the Souls of Brathner, if you're new to the chapter, is Incubi Darkness. And I'm just putting this on uh, with uh, the airbrush. And what am I doing here? Oh yeah, th this is me winning the Oscar for best camera work. Um, yeah, it's me just putting on a mixture of Incubi Darkness and White, just to give it a highlight colour coming down from the tops of Zenithal. And then using a little bit more white in that mix to uh, do the edge highlighting. As I say, I've, I've developed a new way of doing this, which is much quicker than my old way. And if you screw it up, it can be battle damage, so everyone wins. Hooray! So, um, this takes its time. There's no sort of quick way of getting there, but it does look pretty cool when uh, when it's all done. And when you see it from, you know, three feet away or the standard tabletop range, then uh, it looks just dandy. So I painted the ropes uh, for that hold his cloak on um, blue, <clears throat> just highlighted them with a mixture of blue and white. I'm, I'm trying to keep this, this whole army as, as really as simple as possible. This is new for me. I tried something that I'd never tried before, uh, a contrast paint. Um, I only had one before, but this is me buying my second one and it's to paint um, leather pouches. So what's it called? It's called something sewer. What's it called? Garganth sewer or something. It's disgusting. Fabulous though. Did the job perfectly. Exactly what I was looking for. And time invested in that about three minutes. Um, I did go in and sort of take away the pooling in the middle of it because it was like pretty dark. I have no idea what this thing is. So I thought I'm going to make it some sort of really fancy candle holder. So I painted um, that as a candle holder and I put a little bright neon orange uh, piece in it later on so just painting the laurel wreath on his um, leg there with uh, just a dark green and then a, a lighter green um, I tried the Darren Letham sorry the not Darren Letham <clears throat> methodology of um, painting a power sword this time I've never tried this technique I usually do it so like crystal blades but um, I come back and do it with uh, Sotek Green and uh, a few other uh, Temple Guard Blue and Blue Horror. Um, it looks all right. I'm trying to use Zenithal shading here on the cloak um, to give me some highlights. It does. It did work in real life. It did work, but the camera just doesn't really want to pick it up when I paint it red. It just looks like it's all one color. It's not. As you can see, there's there's bits there that have got the shadows in it, and it's really simple to do with an airbrush. It's like a two minute job. Uh, to do it but if obviously if you don't have an airbrush you could you could do it with a, a brush but it, the airbrush just makes it look super smooth which is why I like it um, and I just picked out the details on that with gold so nothing particularly special uh, about the cape and as I say it does it does have a darker uh, bit in the recess but it's difficult to see this guy has the option of a helmet with uh, one of those sort of Greek type um, horse brush the horse head thing um, painted in the soul's colors anyway um this was me doing um this technique i think it looks really special um and you know my one's not great but it, it, it does the job and you get the idea which is fine uh but the darren letham did a, a tutorial and someone's put it back on youtube as not darren letham so if you want to see how to do that uh, his camera work is far better than mine but yeah i'm pretty pleased with it uh, and that's what he looks like when he's all finished. To say, not a ma you can uh, you can swap his heads out. I, d I didn't glue them in, so you can swap them out. But the the leather thing it looks alright, and that was just um, radome tan and um, that 
sewer paint and uh, I just put the base kind of generic so I'm going to base the whole army uh, in a one -er. but if you can keep an eye out for the tabard coming round because you can't really see it when the bolter's there but the white stripe does actually look really cool as it, it comes all the way down the torso and onto there and you can see my wee candle flame there going on as well hey all right so uh, that's sicarius the end of the army is coming soon so uh, thank you very much for watching please comment makes all the difference if not i'll send someone around your house right cheers bye